so you grew up having to claim this. You're the one who made the, the Sanders name a household name. Yes. I can imagine your children probably don't have that same Say difficulty it. of growing up because it, they kind of have a dad that made a name. And so therefore, yeah, I'm the daughter, I'm the son of primetime. I like it. Right? So, so how do you teach toughness to those kids right now? Because this is we are having a conversation about you having a, a, a leader's bulletin for your kids. Yeah, yeah. See, first of all, you all lie and say you treat your kids the same and you love them all the same. That's a lie. <laughs> I got rankings. I rank my kids all the time. I'm five. I ain't leaving none for you because you ain't gonna, I know, I, I, I do that and I'm, I'm honest about it. See, this is our problem and this may be some of your problems. I just told one of your guys this. We're all in a position that our parents weren't at. So right then, you should give yourself a round of applause. Because through their trials and tribulations, through the sturdiness, through the laziness, through the tardiness, through the, the work ethic that they instilled in you, you are much farther along. So what does that do? That provokes you to give your children the things that you didn't have. Okay? Now here goes the problem. You're trying to raise a dog by treating them like a cat. Let me explain. See, a cat, he could come and go as he please. A cat is inside the house. A cat has a litter box. A cat has a, a food that is on timer. You crack they darn food off in cans and it's really sophisticated. A cat is really taken care of. But the dog, he's outside tied up on a darn chain. You give him your leftovers, your scraps, what you don't want. Then every once in a while, you want to show off in front of company and you want him to be tough. Now see, the thing about that, you, you, you can't expect that cat to be a dog in front of company. And that's our problems. So what I had to do with my kids, even though we was on the hill, I had to take them over yonder and put them in athletics and put them in schools so they understood how daddy came up and how daddy rose up. I know you still have on designer clothes, but you gotta learn some of these things because you're gonna need both. You're gonna, I, 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 I like that privileged being, but I need that hood tendency. Yeah. 